Welcome back to Living 808. When people hear Kualoa Ranch, most people think of all the fun activities they can do there, like zip lining or horseback riding. That's right. But what people may not know is that at the heart of Kualoa Ranch, they are an agriculture operation. We learn more about that in today's Hawaii Grown, Hawaii Made segment. We're here at beautiful Kualoa Ranch on the windward side of Oahu. We are chatting with Taylor Kellerman. Taylor, Kualoa Ranch sits on just under 4,000 acres of ag land. Mm -hmm. Tell us, what all do you guys do here? Well, you know, we're really well known for activities and locations and movies, and that's really what people kind of think of. But what's lesser known is that we're actually one of the largest diversified farms on island. We do things like our grass-fed beef program, which people are familiar with. But we also do shrimp, like where you see behind me, uh, Pacific oysters, as well as produce, vegetables, cut flowers, and even potted ornamentals. Wow. Well, today we're going to focus on uh, your seal of quality products. Yes, yes. So that's mm -hmm. the shrimp, the oysters, and... And the beef, yeah. And the beef. The grass-fed okay. beef, yeah. So tell us about the shrimp farm. That's where we are now. Uh, what do you guys do here? Yeah, so we are in our Hakipu'u shrimp farms. And what we do here is we raise a Pacific white shrimp, which is actually a saltwater shrimp. So it's similar similar to the ponds you see out in Kahuku side. And um, we're harvesting, oh, up to is about, about 1,500 pounds per month. And we're selling them to restaurants, and we also have some other accounts outside. But really, the coolest part about it is we're one of the last places you can pick up fresh shrimp on island. And you can get it at our visitor center and order it online. OK, about a quarter mile away from the shrimp farm, here we are at Mali'i Fish Pond. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us what you guys do here. So Mali'i Fish Pond, we're very fortunate to be the stewards of this area. We have about 125 acres here. Um, we do still practice the traditional style of aquaculture with the makaha, natural recruitment, and local fish. But we also, this is where we grow our oysters that are so popular. Taylor, I'm not familiar with any other oyster farms on the island. Are you guys the only one? We are. We are the only oyster farm on Oahu that is currently certified by the Department of Health. And a lot of that has to do with our pristine rain shed and all of our clean water that we have both coastally and through our springs. So walk me through the pro process. Sure. So we actually receive our oysters as little babies from a uh, oyster facility over on the Big Island. Mm -hmm. We put them in these cages and we grow them for a little over seven months. And uh, taking them out, we give them a spa treatment, as we like to say, but it keeps our pests down. And then at seven months, they become saleable size and we share them with uh, our island community. Nice. Okay, where are we heading to next? We are headed to Kaava Valley. To me, probably the most beautiful pasture land on the island, if not the state. So Trini, we're here in Kaava Valley with some of our grass-fed cattle behind us, which I think we're probably most well-known for and is also one of our Seal of Quality products. Let's talk more about that Seal of Quality. Uh, that proves to everyone that uh, the products are actually Hawaii-grown, Hawaii-made. Um, how has that helped your guys' business? You know, it helps all of Hawaii agriculture because really having that platform to stand under collectively that has a standard of quality and of that Hawaiian grown is really, really good to have. So where can people find your Hawaii grown, Hawaii made shrimp, oysters, and beef? So you can visit us in Kaava at our main visitor center where you can pick it up at a retail outlet. However, we do suggest that you order online because we'd hate for you to come out here and not have what you're looking for. Okay, and for all the townies out there watching, if they think, oh, Ka'ava is so far away, I will tell you, it only took us 20 minutes to get out here, and yep. it was a beautiful drive. Definitely. A lot closer than you think. So thank you so much for showing us around. Thank you. You guys do so much more than I ever knew. No, I'm glad to have you out here and, and welcome you back anytime. I love the fact that you now are getting wet with the net. <laughs> I love this. That was my first time throwing net. And it wasn't, it was pretty good. It was nice. It was a good circle. Yeah. I and, caught and something. You, and you caught something. You caught some <laughs> I shrimp. caught something. That was the main thing. <laughs> that, I love that story because I think that uh, a lot of people think that it's just a tour. Uh, you can go zip lining. And there are, uh, obviously, those things are still available at mm -hmm. Kulo Ranch. But it's but so, they much, do so more. much more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I agree. All right. Valentine's Day is next week.